So here we are in Cebu Airport and now we are going to take a bus direction to the city for only 50 pesos. So we just arrived to the bus terminal of Cebu and before we take another bus we decided to take a little break, a lunch and for that we took one of the Cebu speciality which is a pork belly and we also have a couple of, couple of rice to accompany it and an eggplant. Now we are at the bus stations, um, we are waiting for our bus, we don't know what time our bus will be there. We ask a couple of times and they say, we have no idea, it's on the way, we don't know when, but it's on the way. Uh, welcome to Philippines. <laughs> uh, for the ride, the fee is uh, 340 pesos, which is like maybe 5 US dollar, uh, maybe 8 or 9 New Zealand dollar, so it's really really cheap for a 4 hours drive. And from there, we will have to take a boat. So, stay with me. Good morning, so now we are at the Port of Maya, just behind me at the office to pay the national park fee and just on the side we have the office to pay the boat. So for the fee of national park is like 120 pesos for foreigners and 75 for locals. So we have to pay one each for me and Kring and just beside we have the boat fee which is 200 pesos each to join Malapascuao which is around like 20 minutes or half an hour boat drive to arrive to the island so hopefully see you shortly
So after a few hours of trip, finally we are here in our hotel, we just arrived for checking. Um, sadly we missed a sleep last night, however we can still enjoy a breakfast. So this morning I have some sausage from pork, a fried egg, some rice and cucumber, same thing for the lady. So for the local name we have Longanisa. Uh, it look. And the name of the dish is Long Selok. Voila! And for the lady. I had a continental breakfast of two toasts, two eggs, some butter and jam, and also an extra side of longanisa. So now we'll say bon appétit and we'll see you after to finally discover Malapascua. So here we are at our second hotel, so we decided to stay just a few nights at the first one uh, who was pretty cheap and after we like to do when we stay long time in one place uh, to do a few nights in a more premium and expensive hotel. And it's not that expensive here but just slightly more expensive. So here is a view from the walkway of our hotel, of a room. So as you can see it's a dive a dive resort with all the equipment so just to dive directly from here and here is the entrance of a room we have a dog just chilling because it's really really hot over here so it's just relaxing so here's the entrance of a room oh. so as you can see huge bed with something amazing a big mattress in the previous one, the mattress was really small, so hopefully this one will be enough. We have a walking desk just over here, and the most important in Philippines, the AC. Apparently the AC has a few issues, so we also have a fan in case it's really too hot overnight. We have a mirror, just to check we don't have any sunburn, and over here, just a bathroom with obviously the toilet, a sink, and the shower. Then from here we have a wardrobe just to put the stuff and here the highlights of the room simply the view directly of the sea. Look at that just amazing. We have so the bottom, the main road where everything is happening with your bar, with your restaurants, so it's really, really nice. And we also have a small balcony just to enjoy with maybe a few beers and a few rum. All enjoying the view and we can dive directly from here. So it is really nice. Very happy with this place. We stay here for only two nights now, but yeah, it would be really, really good to enjoy the place. We can directly just take the way over here and directly enjoy the sea. On this we are going to chill a bit and after probably going to do some snorkeling.
Good morning, so now we are here on the south of Malapascua. The south of the island is where the island is the most uh, busy, but if you want some quiet and some peace, I invite you to go to the north. It's very quiet, amazing beaches over there, white sand, beautiful water, and it's just perfect just to relax and to chill. Now if you want to go to the north island, or at least the north part of the island, you have two options, you can walk, which will take you between 35 to 45 minutes. And with the heat, it can be quite challenging. Or you can just take a motorbike, which will cost you around 50 pesos. Or well, see, it's a bargain. And now we are on the north part of the island. And now we are on the west part of the island, which is easy to know because that's where the port is located and that's where you arrive from. And here is a perfect spot for the sunset lovers. Just behind Kring, there's a perfect bar or the perfect place to enjoy a lovely sunset. The south of the island is where everything is happening. It's where it's most busy, but as you can see in the morning, I'm almost alone, so it's still very quiet. The island is mostly famous for this diving. So in South Island, that's where you will find most of the diving center. You can just walk around to try to find the one you will like, because here it's not like every dive center offers the same price. So I invite you to just walk around and to just basically bargain and try to get the best price that you can. For us, we went to uh, Fun and Sun, really nice, really lovely. And it was also the perfect spot for Kryn to learn her advance. So I'm already in advance back in early this year in Vanuatu, in early 2024. I did my advance course in Vanuatu. So here I was just able to simply enjoy. So the dive here is famous mostly for the shark. There is many reef sharks, uh, mostly the treasure sharks and also some bamboo sharks, some white tippet sharks. Anyway, there's quite, quite a lot to do over here. So it's pretty cool. Obviously when you dive is never 100% sure to see some sharks but here the island is really really famous for because the sharks come here just to get washed. So it is very natural. So the island is really famous to come here and to see the sharks. So that's why during the plain season it's pretty busy. At the moment we are on the low season because we are at the end of May, early June. So it's a rainy and typhoon season. However, as you can see it's still amazing weather. It's barely any rain. However, sometimes you can have a poor visibility under the sea, like it was for us. The average of the visibility was maybe 15 to 17 meters max. Um, so not the best, but still pretty good to see some sharks. On this, I will leave you with some GoPro rush that we record during our dive and just enjoy. <laughs> 